I think the experience with here has been amazing. Um, I didn't really had a lot of anticipations going here, but uh, I think the networking has been really great. I think the facilitation for the networking, the software for that, has worked out really well, which is not something you see on, on these kind of conferences uh, all the time. So I think, you know, so far beyond the experience, uh, beyond my expectations. Uh, I think the angel networks uh, will start playing a bigger role in angel investments over the next five years. Um, I do believe that angels will start positioning themselves more strongly with the skills they bring to the table. I think we'll see more syndicates of angels working in a more constructive manner and trying to help the business rather than investing money. So I think we'll see a much shorter, uh, sh sharper profile on angel investors than what we have seen the past five or ten years. Well, I think uh, one of the most memorable investment experiences that I've had is uh, a business that came in with unrealistic high expectations of not only valuation, but also what we could do for them. Uh, and so they had an idea. It was a great idea. Uh, the value they wanted was absolutely out of this world. And we had to send them away in Italy. Um, and they went out on a tour uh, and then they came back with completely different uh, expectations. And I think that's what I remember the most is sometimes you have to, as an angel investor, send people away, try to experience something on, on their own and then come back. So if you're a startup and looking for seed funding, I think one of the most important things that you do is trying to figure out what kind of competences is it you need beyond just the money. And then go for those competences that can help you. So try to look you know, into the crystal ball and see what do I need help with over the next course of two to three years and who in the network of investors can help me with that so you get something that goes beyond just money.